Hey, how is it going? Uh, we are continuing the series where we're taking a look at uh, some of the top performing uh, contractors uh, uh, that would be contracted by UK's government to fulfill some of the contracts when it comes to defense, right? Uh, uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the next company that we, uh, I have done a number of those. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Charming Group and what this company does. Uh, it's uh, one of the best companies out there when it comes to receiving some of those contracts. So it has to do something well, right? Let's start uh, with the company's website so all information will be up to date and accurate, if anything. Uh, quick introduction that would be. Uh, for over 100 years, in over 50 countries, Cherami has been supplying the world's most demanding customers in aerospace, defense, and security with innovative solutions. So, if anything, uh, myself, I see a lot of opportunities within those uh, particular markets, as in particular some of those governments currently looking to improve, upgrade some of the equipment that they have. Uh, and bring that equipment up to standard, if anything, and invest some capital into those areas. So that would be my own reasoning, while I would like to understand some of those existing players in the market, and uh, what they're doing very well, if anything. Uh, let's take a look at what this company does. At Charming, we create market-leading technology solutions and develop a world-class thinking to solve the most challenging problems. Interesting. They, <laughs> they do focus a lot on the process itself, which is kind of interesting. Using our extensive ski science and engineering expertise, we turn ideas into reality, designing and developing critical solutions that protect and safeguard in an uncertain world. We achieve this by innovating at every stage of the value chain from search and development throughout the design, manufacturing, and in service support for our sensors and de detection systems, uh, countermeasures, precision engineering, and products. Seems that this particular company seems that it's orientated more to consumer markets, not necessarily limiting themselves only to some of the government contracts. So perhaps it's affordable compared to some of those most recent <laughs> Uh, go, uh, companies that I covered, where they do, do it seems like they do not care that much <laughs> about consumers, other than government, right? <laughs> so I have this particular uh, <laughs> organization. Why would anybody waste time with some of the consumers, right? It seems that perhaps they are looking to do business not only with the governments, but uh, business to business. Perhaps is something <laughs> they are looking to do business with. Our customer base spans national defense organizations, security and law enforcement agencies, as well as commercial markets such as space, medical and transport. We support our customers with more than 50 countries across the globe. It seems that, but I, I don't know, that the way how they're presenting information on the company's website. Sometimes some of those... <laughs> Businesses, some businesses just do not care that much other than focus on actually what brings any money in, right? So if uh, consumers or a uh, small market share, like 2 or 1%, they were not necessarily gearing the company's website towards that 1 or 2% of the market, right? They would rather focus on 98 or so percent where the actual money is coming from, so perhaps just governments, right? This company seems that they have perhaps have more of the market share when it comes to day-to-day uh, -to -day consumers, right? <laughs> or businesses, if anything. Businesses, perhaps, that would be another 20% or so. So they would focus more on that market share. Uh, I'm not being sponsored by any of those companies. It's something that I'm looking to understand a little bit better. So uh, there's a lot of information up there, the way how this information can be presented on the company's website. It's very geared towards marketing and sales kind of thing. Uh, send me a check <laughs> and my, I might cover uh, some of those companies in more detail if it's something that yourself you're interested in. Other than that, I would just cover things that I find interesting and cover some of the details there. Other than that, uh, I will skip uh, over some of the information up there available. You can reach out to those companies if you are interested or you're looking to do business with some of them. 
I would highly recommend to do that. That's not the reason why I'm making this video. It's not to do business with them. If you are interested, uh, if anything, I'm uh, doing free marketing for those companies to say the least. Uh, first area that would be sensors and information. There's a lot of finance available within this area. So if uh, yourself, he, when it comes to uh, some of the funding opportunities of that, uh, there was some opportunities uh, some time ago, a couple months ago. There were support available that day. <laughs> But again, that's defense. So perhaps uh, the contract itself is not the best contract. <laughs> but here, you, for me, perhaps for other players out there, they might find it interesting. And there are some opportunities when it comes to sensors and information. Next one would be countermeasures and energetics. Uh, some of the core expertise when it comes to. Uh, they're sharing a lot of information when it comes to space, but I'm not entirely sure perhaps one monitoring everything from orbit, if that's anything about this, uh, how this company operates. Myself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a course. A uh, course is designed to help you in becoming better when it comes to achieving some of the goals that you might be interested in setting for yourself. And not uh, limited to only goals, I have defined 12 different areas uh, to imp uh, help improve uh, wherever circumstances you might find yourself in. Within those 12 different areas, it could be uh, uh, budget, uh, just to give you an example, right? N none of those things have been taught in school, which uh, I personally believe is very important. Uh, more people should focus on those areas, and particularly when starting with the budget, everything was, uh, you would need to know when it's setting, uh, setting yourself on the task of developing a budget, if anything. What, once you start with your personal budget, you can progress into uh, designing different budgets for different projects, if it's something that you see yourself doing in the future. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, or if it's something that you like to do, there's a link in the description. I was doing research to understand a little bit better when it comes to companies contracted by UK. So I thought most of these companies has to be UK based, but I'm not entirely sure if this particular company is UK based. If not, it seems that they do have a lot of uh, uh, clients and uh, know how when it comes to deliver some of those projects. Uh, and not necessarily limited, they do do a lot of projects within UK, but not necessarily limited to only operating and delivering projects in the UK. If anything, uh, I would like to take a look at some of the statements that uh, I have managed to find on the company's website. Uh, investment proposition, interesting. Uh, myself, uh, I need to improve perhaps some of those areas <laughs> as well as I'm interested to find out how others would structure the uh, value offer <laughs> investment proposition. That's how it's defined, right? We deliver prof uh, profitable growth by operating in markets where we have di uh, differentiators such as intellectual property, niche technology, and high barriers of entry. Uh, where is this number of players, right? So <laughs> they can perhaps for one dollar, uh, they can increase value of if you were interested in investing in some of those companies, they can potentially increase value of that dollar <laughs> a 30 fold, right? <laughs> to say the least. We uh, continuously review our portfolio to ensure that we maintain the standard on each uh, Either way, there's a lot of information. <laughs> Let's do not waste everyone's time here. Yeah. Our current focus is to build stronger business and deliver major progression through our continuous improvement. Oh, great, great. Simply of our organization enabling greater focus on investment, invest in a strengthen of our culture, improve the quality of our earnings. So they have they do they do focus a lot on maximizing profits, right, for their shareholders. If anything, that's the vibe that I'm getting, and uh, growing drivers. The U.S. That's what I thought. <laughs> if anything, I thought it's very perhaps they do have some uh, units within UK, but it's geared towards U.S. market. We are capability of our successful investments in next generation of chemicals and bio, uh, biological detection technologies, where we 
have won a number of world, world records. So there's a lot of opportunities there, especially uh, currently with the, where the markets are shifting. If we're taking a look at China and the way how they're monitoring some of those things, and how are we looking to introduce some of those technologies in other Western countries? Perhaps uh, there's a lot of opportunities there, but if there would be any pushback, so they perhaps would need to change a lot of uh, laws and the regulations when it comes to collecting some of the data, as well as how they're going to monitor that data and how they would limit it, uh, some of the existing freedoms of its citizens within those countries. Perhaps you US, there's a growing market there. Perhaps they're going to make some changes with Europe and UK's markets as well. Then there might be a lot of opportunities when we uh, when we're talking about doing business, right? Uh, let's uh, summarize and finalize on that. So it's uh, just a business, right? So perhaps it's a very profitable business. So for any of you who are interested, uh, I'm I'm not getting paid, right, <laughs> to promote those companies, but uh, it seems that uh, some of those companies out there they're doing very well and they do understand how to operate business. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.